How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Guess what? I did some of the thing. Put some books in the bookshelves, organized the tops of them a little. I still haven't hung anything. I still technically haven't done the thing I said I would do. Damn it. But we're getting there. I'm chipping away at it. These Black Butler intros have essentially just become my own personal vlogs. Just to keep updating myself and you guys on how much progress and how long it's taking me to set up this room. So we're close. We're definitely getting there. Much like we're close to getting to the bottom of this whole circus nonsense. I'm practicing. I'm practicing my transitions for when the Patreon plug comes. By the way, speaking of plugs, I just want to remind everybody, if you like my content and you like seeing me talk about anime, but are upset that I haven't been reacting to much of the newer anime coming out right now or whatever year or date you're currently living in, I do have a podcast where me and NC Hammer 23 talk about everything current going on in the anime landscape. We also talk about video games, movies, whatever comes to mind. We play games. It's a good time. You should check it out. The link to it will be in the description below. Once again, it's called Otaku's Anonymous. Hopefully, I'll see you there. And now, on in the show. At this rate, I may collapse from exhaustion before I even have a chance to check the tents. Oh, sorry, what can I do next? Oh my god, did I just hear CL say sorry? And what can I do next? Did I just hear growth? Even if he's just doing all of this as an act, it is still far more growth than I ever thought he was even capable of. Show's already started, so I need you to get in there and take her place on the trapeze. Uh, but surely I'm not a fit substitute. Uh, from what I've seen you do, I'd say you're more than fit for the job. Doesn't Sebastian need to, like, know the routine. You can't just have a person go and dick around on the trapeze. They need to know the steps and everything. That'd be coordinated with the partner. I mean, Sebastian doesn't, but he's not a person. Yes, my lord. I believe that should be all of them. Don't just cut to Seb- Are you crazy? First off, don't just cut to Sebastian tying a snake into a knot because that's insane on its own. Second, don't then cut to him tossing that snake into a cage full of like a hundred tied snakes. I don't think I've ever seen animal abuse on such a large scale before. There's gotta be like a whole layer of just dead crushed snakes at the bottom of that, right? Snakes are not light creatures. Then that should allow you roughly a 10 minute window. To do what? As soon as your act ends, come and release the snakes, then return for the encore. Should he untie them first, or is he just gonna release a bunch of knotted snakes onto the world? He's gonna fuck up the whole snake ecosystem doing that. What, what if the snakes start evolving like that? What if they start being born pre-knotted because of Sebastian? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how evolution works. <laughs> They're just swinging up there. What are they doing? Great shot. Gotta love just, a, just an over-the-boob shot. Who was it? Was it Alfred Hitchcock who invented that? He looks... Girl in a bikini, he smiles. What is he now? The dirty old man. Ugh, my bodice. Great setup to potentially an even better shot. <gasps> ah, my bodice! Got nothing to see here! Move along! Nobody look! You bastard! Here I was trying to get a glimpse of her sweet, supple upper back and shoulders. Now I have to Google it. I meant what I said before. <laughs> I'd sooner die. My fingers might rub off. God, this guy's like the polar opposite of Grell. Grell tries to touch Sebastian too much and this guy won't touch him at all. But where is that exactly? Maybe there's a better image of it in here. Ah, don't come in, oh my God. Blasted thing ripping on me. And it was my favorite. Oh, thank God she came in. Holy shit, we're getting full back. We got full neck to hip action. Tom, get that sensor bar ready. Oh my God, that was so tense though. I'm not used to CL being in any sort of danger or caring for his well-being. It is cool seeing him do things for once, like sneaking around and gathering intel rather than just hiding behind Sebastian for a full season. Tom, I was not joking, by the way, about that sensor bar. I, I don't know how cool YouTube is about a woman's naked back. You might want to slap one on just to be safe. Also, that was definitely Sebastian in the chest, right? 
Because that was some prime butlering. Even when he's hiding, he's servicing people. The imprint from the signet ring. I think I've seen it recently. Signet ring? Imprint? You mean you can make out details that small? Yes. They got 8K cameras in Victorian England now? It's not a matter of how Sebastian can make out details that small. How the fuck did the camera? I think we had better stop for today. I need to free the snakes before the encore begins. You need to free the snakes before they make one wrong wiggle and break their spines. Mother Goose character? <gasps> what the devil is going on? This is my name. Oh, what? What is going on? This is crazy. By the way, CL and I, almost birthday buddies. He's December 14, I'm January 14. Real close. <sighs> I love this stupid snake subplot. I love knowing that Sebastian just spent like a half hour de-nodding a bunch of snakes. <laughs> like what? I should have stopped searching sooner. I have to get back without being seen. <laughs> Damn it, Sebastian, you should have kept the snakes knotted. Hasn't anyone ever taught you not to leave any loose snakes untied? Be quiet. Oh my god, Cream Puff hooked him up! Listen, you being kinda cool and sympathetic is not gonna make me warm up to the fact that you look like a shaving cream mascot. Alright, you can't go around looking that stupid and expect me to like you. I don't like risking my life just by walking around. Fuck, that snake's ratting on you, CL! That snake's a snitch! I knew we should've left that bastard tied! It's me. <laughs> Freckle face, it's you? Ah! Oh my god, this kid was cream puff the whole time? Damn it, I love this kid. But do I love him as much as I hate cream puff? Also, where did your freckles go? Do you apply freckles every day? Hey now, is that any way to address a lady? You're a bloke, but you wear a dress on stage? You're a goddamn bloody bloke who wears a dress on stage? Disgusting! I can't hardly believe it! God, CL's transphobia came out real hard and real fast just now. You are very rude, aren't you? I'm a genuine maid, thank you. Here, I'll prove it. <laughs> there, see? CL. Score, dude! CL just got to, like, fourth base or something. I don't know, I've never had sex. That's awesome, man! Hey, how do you, like... How have you been showering, though? Like, in the shower scene, this girl was trying to get CL to take off his clothes to shower with her. Like, would, would that not have blown her cover? We've all got our secrets, don't we? I certainly understand that. And I've been feeling rotten about what I did to you earlier. Oh, you mean the time you molested him in front of the entire circus troupe? Ah, come on, you kidding me? You're still hung up on that? That was only, like, moderately traumatic for CL. He only cried for, like, three hours after that. You're good. It's easier for me to sleep when there's somebody else nearby. Hey, will you still share a tent with me now that you know who I am? Yes, of course. Oh, that's good. Hey, can these two, like, become boyfriend and girlfriend? Because they're kind of adorable together. At least these two are the same age. This is the first potential love interest CL's had that isn't like a 34-year-old man. Not while our contract is in effect. But if you give the wrong orders, you may be in for some suffering. Of the non-fatal variety, of course. God, Sebastian is so fun. He's always been a good time, but this season has done a lot to, like, improve Sebastian's character for me. This conversation's great. I love how Sebastian's like, I'll follow your orders. You just better make sure they're the right ones. Like, that's awesome. I also love how he hasn't been, like, completely omnipotent during this circus stuff. Like, he gets surprised, confused, backed into corners. Like, this season has, to its credit, added at least a thin layer of complexity to his and CL's relationship. I like it. Sebastian feels more human. He feels like he could fail and get tricked. And it makes the tension a lot more existent in this season. <coughs> The heraldic authorities have all coats of arms in their registers. We have enough criteria to narrow it down. Is CL okay? Why is this kid dying right now? However many there may be... <coughs> you should be able to identify the correct one. Can you ask if he's okay, Mr. I'm a demon sworn to protect this boy? We'll have to go back. The townhouse will have... <coughs> Oh 
found out. Oh my god, does he have cream puff curse? Did the cream puff kid fuck him over? <gasps> What's going on? You did this to him! I know this was your doing! It's an asthmatic fit. Asthma? Are you certain? We've lived together for three years now, and I've never known anything of the sort to afflict him before today. Also, asthma doesn't make you vomit sweet, delicious, whipped cream. It makes it hard to breathe. It doesn't give you reverse diarrhea. All right, it's called asthma, not ass mouth. Are you serious? You really think your serpent friends speak to you? How dare you presume to doubt my word, you simpleton! I know this guy genuinely talks to his snakes, but I would love it if he was just doing a bit the entire time. What a good bit! This guy gets to do silly voices all day and never has to directly answer anybody's questions. This is an order. Go to the heraldic authorities and identify the man who is wearing the signet ring. Ugh, get out of here with your Morse code. I fucking hate Morse code. Shows always think they're being so clever when they whip this out. Also, this is the most romantic application of Morse code I've ever seen which certainly isn't making me any less uncomfortable. Come up with better ways to communicate in secret. Like, why don't both of you just subscribe to my Patreon and then DM each other in my private Discord server? That is the most secure method of sending messages on the face of the planet. Or you could DM me directly through the Discord server and I'll relay the message. And while you wait for me to get your dumb little message over to Sebastian, you can enjoy dozens of hours of exclusive bonus content all found on my Patreon. Blue Lock reactions, Food Wars reactions, live streams I've recorded in the past and will record in the future. What better way to get over being sick than watching all of that awesome exclusive content? God, it's like he's not even listening to me. Can you guys please subscribe to my Patreon, check out all the features, check out all the content, and then let CL know in the comments just how sick it is? I feel like I just did like a, like a Dora the Explorer plug, like where I'm like, Come on, guys, go down to the comments and tell CL, it's cool. Um, if that plug wasn't clear enough, uh, check out my Patreon, please. It helps support the page immensely, helps me, uh, pay Tom to keep doing his amazing editing stuff. And it ensures that I'm able to keep putting out as much content as I do, both on this page, on my podcast, and on my gaming page, Honestly Brutal, where I make video game analysis videos, character breakdowns, just a bunch of other bonus funny content that doesn't really fit on this page. And now, on to the next one. Mother! Help me! Somebody please help! Whoa, crazy POV sequence. This is like the second crazy POV sequence of the season, actually. They're really, really loving this like 3D camera setup they've built here. <sighs> Look at this one. He's easily worth more than two children, I'd say. Look, I know nobody wants to get sold as a child, and selling children is probably wrong, but I would be so gassed up if somebody said this to me. Ah, shucks, mister. You mean it? I don't know if I'm better than two children, but, you know, that's awfully kind of you to say. What is this? Why are we in this cage? Nobody is going to save us. Who is he talking about? Am I supposed to be wondering that? Like, is he just in a cage full of a bunch of other kids and that's the we he's referring to? Or is it him and one other, like, mysterious somebody. Because the shots of him make it look like he's alone in that cage, but he's saying we and us, and I can't tell if, like, those are details I'm supposed to be wondering about. You have summoned me here today. I can never be changed. And nothing sacrificed can ever be regained. Who taught CL how to summon a butler from hell? Was it his parents? Like, when does that conversation come up? Is it before or after the birds and the bees? And son, that's where babies come from. I know it can be a bit of an awkward and silly conversation, but it's important you know it. Oh, by the way, if you ever need a hell butler- You must return to the tent immediately. I cannot allow you to move independent of your master. This is the most passive aggressive dodging I've ever seen. Can we please not do this? Under no circumstances will I allow you to disturb my young lord's sleep. And like me, I feel quite certain- I know Sebastian is sworn to protect CL at all costs, 
but I am genuinely astounded that he chose to protect CL over protecting his dainty white little glove. I was afraid that would be your decision. Oh well, tis no matter. I shall simply explore other means of getting what I need. Ugh, you gross fucking cat man. It won't bring the dead back, nor will it bring them happiness. I want to find the people responsible and make them experience the same pain and humiliation that I suffered. His aunt's just sitting there like, have you considered Jack the Ripping people? Oh yeah, I forgot about her incredibly subtle and dignified death. Man, Grell is such a nuanced and respectful reaper. One wrong move can cost you your life. Just like chess. Yeah, sure, just like chess. I don't remember chess ever having a threat of somebody burying a chainsaw in my chest if I lost. What, do they add that in the latest update? Is that in the newest chess DLC? What's wrong, lass? Having trouble sleeping, are you? Let's stop this. There's no good way to casually bring up that you want to stop kidnapping children. At least if you're already kidnapping children. If you're not, then it becomes a super easy conversation. Then it's just like, hey, you know how we don't steal children off of the street? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you want to keep doing that? Cool, yeah, I would hope so. Cool, yeah, well, that's why I said I am. Cool, yeah, well, that's good then. But I hate this. I can't stand to watch you suffer so. It hurts me. Oh, so it's not even the children you're worried about. It's it's Joker's mental health. Oh, oh, poor Joker. I'm sure it's so mentally taxing, yoinking kids right off of the street. <laughs> oh my, what happened? Do I hear someone weeping? Yo, Sebastian is such a gentleman, a woman can summon him just by crying. Sebastian just rounded the corner like, Riz delivery. Pursuing a man like that is a waste of time for a lady like you. He can't return your feelings, so he decides to be kind and play the considerate gentleman. Sebastian, you have to know that I was joking. You do not actually have to deliver this woman some Riz. That is wildly unlike you. I have never seen Sebastian attempt to seduce a woman. I, I didn't even, I just, I didn't even know. That was just never a scenario that ever crossed my mind as being possible. If you would be interested, I know how to take your mind off the pain for a while. <gasps> That's rubbish. Since when do you like women, Sebastian? I can't believe Riz Bastion's out here trying to tame Beast right now. Even if it won't last any longer than tonight, choose pleasure, not pain. It is a sweet poison. Take it into your deepest depths. Sebastian, if you think this woman is listening to a goddamn word you're saying right now, I think you got her. This was a successful seduction. Th this woman's brain is TV static right now. You can start whispering the Beyblade theme song into her ear and it'd be just as effective as whatever the hell you're saying. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Let's fight an epic battle. Face off. And spin the metal. No time for doubt. Now, no time for backing down. <sighs> Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! The words I need are the only ones he can't say. Things changed when Father put him in charge of the circus. He grew distant. I can't believe he's actually about to have sex with her right now. Sebastian? More like shake that ass for him. Cause that's all you're gonna be doing when Sebastian gets his little mitts on you. Also, real gentlemanly of you to find a vulnerable, crying woman in the streets. Coil around her like a viper, and then ignore all of her resisting until she has very, very sad sex with you. <laughs> this might not be as fun of a scene as I thought it was. Why do you want to know that? <laughs> I want to know all about you. He's an important part of your life. Wow, she... <laughs> She really seems to be enjoying this. I'm gonna say something pretty controversial. This demon, not a great guy. Not a very good dude. Just totally manipulated Beast into having sex with her for intel. Who knew the devil was such a bad man? We can leave unobtrusively while everyone is breaking their fast. Did you sleep well? Not to worry, my lord. Your secret is safe with me. Why are you holding him like that? CL's like 13. You ever seen somebody pick up a 13-year-old like that? We finished our business here, so we'll be taking our leave. I trust that's not a problem. How fucking small is CL? I'm pretty sure the average height of a 13-year-old is like 5 feet. Okay, apparently Sebastian is 6'1", and CL is 5 feet tall. 
So they're absolutely shrinking CL in this scene. CL is like 4-1 right now. Sebastian has a full like two feet on him. I'm curious as to why you didn't tell me. You didn't ask, so I didn't tell. It's as simple as that. And I've grown out of it anyhow. It's not like you were super chronically ill yesterday or the day before or anything. The health of our masters is our first concern. Don't you think you are bound by duty to stop Lord Phantom High for the sake of his health? even if doing so goes against his orders. See, your mistake, Agni, is assuming that Sebastian cares about CL's health and well-being. Sebastian just doesn't want to get fired. He could give a fuck about CL's well-being. But you make an excellent point. Yes, indeed. Perhaps there is something to your way of thinking after all. Wait! Don't let him turn you! Oh my god, wait, Agni didn't convince him that he should start caring about CL. He convinced him he doesn't always need to listen to his orders. Agni? You damn genius. Now Sebastian's one step closer towards achieving his ultimate goal, which is to become an actual for real cat. I told you not to trust outsiders, didn't I? Are you a grown man? I thought this was a child. That was not the voice I expected to come out of him. And that is episodes five and six of season three of Black Butler. Some pretty wild revelations going on here. Uh, one, that Cream Puff is actually CL's, like, carny friend. And two, that Sebastian... It's not a very, not a very gentlemanly gentleman, <laughs> sometimes. Still good stuff, I'm still like definitely intrigued and gripped. Which is good, which is way, way more than I could say for season one. Season one I was excited to watch just because I was like, these are making for funny videos. This I'm excited to watch, genuinely to watch the plot unfold. Which is way, way more than I ever expected to get out of Black Butler. But as always, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the episodes. And comment below your favorite jokes from today's episode. And I will see you guys next time. I broke down what you said to me, baby.